And so my question to you is, if you could create only one dominant thought that would help you change your life, what would it be? Okay, and this is, this is what affirmations are. And I hate corny, cliche, BS affirmations. Like I hate when I see people say, create affirmations and people will sit there and they'll put their hands out and they'll close their eyes and they'll say, money flows freely to me from all areas of the universe. Money flows freely to me from all areas of the universe. And then you open your eyes and you're like, that's bullshit. Why? Because we all have BS meters in our head. And so you, you know that the planet Pluto is not sending you, I guess it's not a planet anymore, but the planet Jupiter that's not sending you $1,000 in your bank account. So clearly it's not coming from all areas of the universe, right? And so what I would prefer is that you create a real affirmation. And I have a three-step process, super simple, to create an affirmation. The first thing is it needs to be true. The second thing, it needs to be empowering. And the third thing is it needs to be present tense. So not like I'll get it in the future. It's like speaking now. So it's true, it's empowering, it's present tense. And so it doesn't mean like if you're broke, you just close your eyes and say, I'm rich. No, that's stupid because it's not true. And also at the same time, it's not really that empowering because you're like, oh, I don't know about this. I, that doesn't, this doesn't feel right. And so like examples, let me give you examples of of what you could use if you're going through it. Now, don't steal these ones because, you know, these are just ones that I just randomly came up with. I want you to find one that feels true to you, like feels true deep down in your bones. Like, oh yeah, this shit really gets me going. It really tickles your tots. That's what I'm looking for, right? So let's say like you, let's say you fear commitment and that's the one thing, like you really want to get into a relationship, but you've screwed a lot of relationships up because you, you fear commitment and all the stuff that comes with it, right? If you fear commitment, maybe you're right. And the first thing is it has to start with I am, okay? I am is super, super important. I am capable of making decisions that align with my values and my goals when getting into a relationship, right? Or if you're, you're fearing commitment of, of starting a business, right? Whatever it might be, I'm capable of making decisions that align with my values and my goals. If I fear commitment in a relationship, it could also be something like, you know, um, I trust that no matter what happens in all of my relationships, it's exactly what's supposed to happen whatever it might be that feels right for you. If you have the fear of responsibility, it could be something like, I am prepared to handle increased responsibilities with grace in my life. So that you're like, oh yeah, instead of being afraid of extra responsibility, I am prepared to handle increased responsibilities with grace in my life. If you have a scarcity mindset, it might be something like, I trust that there is enough for everyone, including me and my life, and my life will be abundant in all aspects. I trust. So if, if you have scarcity, that means there's not enough. So the opposite of that is, I trust that there's enough for everyone, including me, and my life will be abundant in all aspects. Financial worries, if you sit there and you find, worry about your finances all the time, I am open to new ways to increase my income. That's a good one. Or I'm worthy of financial abundance and stability. Cool, great. If you have the fear of failure, I'm resilient and capable of overcoming all challenges. Fear of failure, you can get past it that way. The fear of success, I'm deserving of all of the success that comes my way. The fear of change, I am excited about the possibilities that change brings in my life. If you have the fear of rejection, I'm proud of myself for taking risks and putting myself out there. And here's the way that I recommend that you do it, okay? I've recommended this to, to many people. I recommended this literally last week to a group of people um, in this, this program that I have called Mindset University. And I was like, hey, just do this for seven days. And they came back yesterday and were telling me about it. And they're like, oh my God, I can already tell a massive difference in the way that I feel. Literally for doing this, what I'm about to tell you for seven days. And what it is, is you go and you buy these things called mala beads, M-A-L-A. -A. You can buy them on Amazon for like 15, 20 bucks. And there's 108 beads. And what you do is you wake up in the morning and you use the mala beads in the affirmation to help you reprogram yourself. Okay, so you have a dominant thought that's going on in your head and it's going over and over and over and over and over and over and over again throughout your head. Well, now we want to change it. So what do we do? As soon as we wake up in the morning, we go to the bathroom, we brush our teeth, we drink water, and then you go and you meditate while your brain is still in, is still in theta state, which is basically hypnosis. And what you do is you say your affirmation 108 times. So you close your eyes and you basically touch each bead. So you touch the bead and you say, you know, um, 